So I made this movie with the help of Scott Bayright from Foam and Wash Car Wash. He's a, a collector of old car wash memorabilia, and he was kind enough to share all this with me. notice in this picture there's a top brush at the back end of the vehicle and there's also an undercarriage brush probably to help remove all the mud and dirt from the bottom side of the vehicle then you've got all the service guys around each side guy on the top deck there cleaning the top of the car and they're pulling the vehicle through by chain on a conveyor I'm not sure if that's a moving belt or not down on the bottom or just a wooden deck but there's see the waterfall above the vehicle spraying it somehow Scott found this movie of a Minuteman car wash opening promoting uh, the purchase of US savings bonds It's also widely believed that Paul's Minuteman Car Wash in Detroit, Michigan was one of the first automatic car washes, probably automatic conveyorized car washes in the country. process.
it's a Minuteman drying system. The Minuteman uh, car wash system included brushes, tire brush, and a drying system. Here's one of the Octopus car washes, one of the uh, oldest the most successful car wash chains in the country, still in operation today. And um, the Sherman Car Wash Equipment Company in New Jersey produced a Sherman Car Wash success story video to promote their line of equipment, which was known as like supersonic car washes. So there were a bunch of supersonic car washes built around the country. This car is just pulling under the conveyor, and um, maybe the early advent of you know pacing production. Um, you know the guys only had a certain amount of time to vacuum the inside of the cars, and they ran out of hose and kind of go on to the next car. Inside walkway of a full service car wash with what looks like a coffee bar, ice cream bar, maybe. following wheel blaster. The wheel was actually cradled there and spun at a high speed and uh, steam was blasted onto the wheel to clean it. Brushes, 
how narrow it is. I'm not sure I understand why it didn't um, go across the whole width of the car. I'll have to ask Fred Grauer that question one of these days. pressure rinse arch. appear to have a brush on it that spun to help clean the wheel. Remember too that the the following mechanism there was spinning the wheel against that brush. So after the you know the all the old pictures I uh, presented a bunch of our locations our this is our location in Queensbury New York uh, built in 2004 uh, it's a about a 200 foot long building 183 foot conveyor uh, this was a very successful promotion we did on Veterans Day last year where we gave away free car washes and free oil changes to any veteran. And there's a shot of our Saratoga location on Veterans Day last year, 2014. And just another drone video. I was showing everybody over in the Netherlands that uh, Lake George was only about a half an hour north of our Queensbury car wash location. That's up in the Narrows in Lake George. And then um, we were one of the first car washes uh, down in our Vestal, New York location to install a Hydroflex um, system in our self-service for all the low pressure functions. So it's a dispensing system that can consistently uh, deliver the product out into the bay. And I was showing them the wobble head foam brush where, you know, the brush is limp if the timer's not running. Um, and then when the customer does turn the equipment on and turn it to foam brush, the pressure of the foam brush solution going through the handle pushes a stainless rod into the brush, you know, to help firm it up. And, um, and then again with the Hydroflex system where you're using two colors uh, that switch back and forth between the two different colors while you're foam brushing the car.
And we also have wheel scrubbing brushes at most of our self-service locations where we're, you know, pumping out a, a wheel cleaning solution and then the bristles are a little stiffer to help with the cleaning action. This is one of the more dramatic improvements in our self-serve. Uh, the triple wax gun applying polish wax to the vehicle. Uh, three different colors and you know generous application really works well. Then I was showing the guys how um, we build our own self-serve car wash equipment and there's you know the customer interface the coin box so to speak where all the selections are listed uh, there's a power boost button to increase pressure on the self-serve gun when you're on high pressure or rinse or soap um, and then if the customer uses more than five dollars a time they get a, um, a drying system that turns on and as they exit the bay it'll help dry their car there's a garage door also that we have at this location uh, to help block the wind and make it for a more comfortable experience for our customers. Yeah, we have those in each each of our four self-surveys in the Vestal, New York uh, location. Then we're using some G&G &G lighting, which is waterproof LED fixtures. Really bright, really good product. And there are the three AVW I believe there were 10, yep, 10 horsepower dryers that run for about a minute. There's a countdown timer. And then uh, this is a new piece of equipment we've developed uh, using a Wash World InBay Automatic assembly connected to um, our own control system. There's three variable frequency drives controlling the three motors on board there. And then a programmable logic controller uh, we wrote the software for. It matches the conveyor speed, rotates 90 degrees. The bug spray applicators are facing the vehicle at this point, applying bug spray. We'll switch that to high pressure for the winter time. And then down each side of the car, Hydroflex zero degree rotating nozzles. Uh, the nozzle sizes are 3.5s. We're using about six or seven gallons a car of uh, of hot recycled water with um, soap and you see it chase the back of the car and blast the back of the car staying at the appropriate distance and then we also have some bug spray applicators for the windshield so there again is the low pressure bug spray you know so by automating this process we've created a more consistent experience for our customers. The quality is improved because it's doing the same job over and over again consistently. And then from inside the car, this is what it looks like. And as it's going down the side of the car, we measure the width of each car so that those nozzles are at the appropriate distance from the car as it goes down the passenger side. It's a little busier now, so as it's coming back, it can reverse direction and catch the next car. And then for, th for this car, it always makes it back to home in time to chase the rear end of the car. There's an ultrasonic sensor in the bridge of the unit and um, if it's a smaller vehicle, the upper two nozzles shut off with a separate solenoid. Saves water for us. And 
That white gizmo right there is the ultrasonic sensor to measure the side of the car. That's a Hodge conveyor. Just put that in. There are those two uh, pre-soak nozzles for the for the front windshield. As it's coming back towards home, it sprays bug spray. A couple of McNeil top brushes. That's a McNeil side brush, and then a pair of AVW wraps with Gallup foam on them. Gallup is a company in Michigan. Detroit. We also have an ultrasonic sensor right above the entry switch there to detect open bed pickup trucks. So I'm going to demonstrate how the, the top brushes can come, come down, clean the back window, and then turn off because it detected the open bed pickup. These are a couple of proportional air regulators that we use to assist the wraps off the front of the car and then assist them around, give a little pressure to go around the mirrors, and then release the pressure to have more effective cleaning across the back end of the car. Those are made by SMC. Some AVW friction curtains, AVW high pressure rinse arch. There's a spinning mirror rinse right there. That's by Mosmatic. And there's a Dr. Innings wheel blaster from Mr. Wash in Germany. We brought that over in the States, well, probably about 20 years ago, and wrote software to control it. Uh, it's made by AVW Equipment Company in Chicago right now. And then uh, spot-free mirror rinse. And that final rain bar is spot-free also. Then we have 14, 15 horsepower fans by AVW for the drying system. Uh, just put that monitor in. It's a daylight readable uh, monitor to promote our unlimited wash club, our Jiffy Lube, uh, texting, um, campaign that our customers can give us their their phone number. We can text them. There's a a tire shine, Simonized tire shine, made by Sunnies, and that's made by SunbrightDS.com. It was about a five thousand dollar item. And um, this is one of our newest locations. We opened in Amsterdam. Actually, Amsterdam, New York. And we have a Vacutech um, self-service free vacuum system there for our customers to use. And that was it.